I was raised Catholic. Uh, we went to St. Peter's out in the west side of Fort Worth, where a lot of times if you didn't go, you were judged on why you weren't there. And everything was kind of a way, more of a way of life than what you believed in. And to some degree that turned me off to religion. And then when I was, I guess about 30 years old, I was, that was when I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune disease, um, which can be crippling and debilitating. It was really at that point that I just about completely dismissed Christ from my life, just thinking there's no way that I would have been put here. If somebody was that good and that powerful, why am I here? When we met, I told her that, you know, I thought it was all fiction, just that the Bible was just, it was, it was nothing but a storybook, really, to tell like kids what's right and what's wrong more than, than reality. Yeah, I was on some pretty decent antidepressants, uh, mainly for anxiety. I decided to get off the medication. I guess. Well, you had lost your job first, too. And I lost my job in 2014 also, which really set me back because I always felt like I was the provider for the family. And that was when Allison recommended me going to school to pursue a degree, which I'm currently doing, which was stressful. I had a hard time dealing with that. I really did. Uh, that was in 2014. Um, and then, I guess it was, like I say, in 2015, right around the end of the year, that's when I was off for six weeks from school and I wasn't getting out of bed. I was getting up at like two and three in the afternoon. Things were just out of control at the house. The kids were out of control. I wasn't, she was working so much and I was, just wasn't there for the kids. I really wasn't. And I told her, you know, I just, with life, I was like, I'm just, I'm done. I don't know what to do. Um, and so I did, I left. And I shouldn't have, but I did and she called me and asked me why. And even to this day, I, I don't know why. But she... He felt like he couldn't turn back either. But she, she didn't give up. Hmm. And when I came back, she told me that really all I had left was, she said, just trust, have your trust in Christ. and. I told her okay, and um, we went to, we had some friends that went to the uh, Keystone Church there and it just happened to be the next weekend after I came back to her, they said, you know, why don't you give it a try and so I said, okay, let's do it. When I went the very first time, you guys, um, I don't even know the name of the song, but you still play it. I get emotional. It you do. It's mm -hmm. uh, that unstoppable God. You play, that was the first song I heard. And I told her that it was like a, this almost like euphoric and like a toxic drug was just leaving me when I heard it. And it just, everything came so clear. I was actually baptized in the Catholic church at 16 months old, um, but I wanted to make it official on my terms. I hate to sound selfish, but it's kind of like I wanted to- Well, you didn't choose it. Right, I chose it this time and I wanted to I wanted the world to know that that's what I was doing. Well, and you inspired all three of our kids to, to also do it. turn towards God too. They have. They saw him, all that weight lift off of him. I mean, it was it, it was a noticeable weight. I mean, he was happier. He had a s skip in his step again. And click, click my heels yeah, when I walk. The weight, so. you know, he it's like he could conquer the world, and they saw him do that, and then they then took God into their hearts too, and now they're they're actually conquering their own demons. So it's a glorious thing. They thought hard about it and they, they've accepted it. And it's helped them tremendously. Yeah, Darian was in a dark place about six, seven months ago. Oh, he's like a different kid. I actually went to the rheumatologist, um, got a clean bill of health. He's in 100% remission. I'm in remission, remission right now. You can't stress enough how powerful it is until you try it. I mean, I just, I keep saying that I know, but that's what I told the kids over and over and over again. I don't think I'd be where I am today if it wasn't for that. I don't know where I'd be.